So we have a new wrinkle to the Gwyneth Paltrow civil case and it was revealed prior to the testimony beginning on Monday. The attorneys for the Oscar winning actress were set to introduce a link to a series of group chat messages involving plaintiff Dr. Terry Sanderson and a couple of his ski buddies who were with him the day of the incident. And the messages are discussing the incident. Now a viewer of the trial coverage uncovered the chat and then sent it to the office of Paltrow's attorneys. And after a lengthy discussion between both parties outside the presence of the jury, the judge later informed the members of the jury of those findings. And both sides agreed to the messages being authentic, so they have come in as evidence. And guess who we've got on the show? We have that viewer, the tech savvy guy who uncovered those messages. He's joining us this morning from California where he lives, tech investigator Michael Fletch Fletcher. Fletch, good to see you this morning. Thanks for coming on the show. Happy to be here. Nice to meet you. Oh, you too. And uh, so everybody knows at home, uh, <laughs> and you know technology so well, we have a little bit of a delay in our connection. So that is why a little bit of a pause between my question and your answers. Uh, but um, first of all, what made you want uh, to figure this out? Well, he kept repeating that it's the most important piece of evidence and he, they couldn't figure it out. <laughs> they had no idea how to open the link. It's, so I just thought I'd check it out. And so, you know, you are very tech savvy. Uh, that is your area of expertise. That's your wheelhouse. For all of us who may be technologically challenged, how difficult or how simple was that task? Honestly, it's comical how easy it was. <laughs> like, I can't believe they didn't do this already. It's almost a joke. Wow. So, okay, so it, how long did it take you to do it? Probably like two minutes. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, the hardest part was just getting the link the full link and I just had to rewind that's it wow what do you think I mean they were having difficulty with common sense <laughs> uh, just thinking too hard about what the problem was Sure. And so uh, for, for those I mean, really tech savvy viewers who will understand how you did it, could you walk us through the process, please, Fletch? All I did was create a login for the website. If it's a website that requires a login, you can't access in anything on it without a login. All I did was use my Google account to log into the website. And then the link works. Oh my it's gosh. Simple. Oh my gosh. So it wasn't like the link was bad or faulty or something like that, huh? No, there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with the link. It's just knowing when you put the link in the first time and it doesn't take you anywhere except to the website's main page and ask for a login, just realize that's the problem. You're not logged into the website, so you can't access the information that you're trying to find. Fletch, so, this is unbelievable. So it, it was mean, as simple as the creating interesting a part login. Was one, right. one more time, please. That's it, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so tell us what, yeah, what you Yeah, that's do. it. All I had to do was log, create a login, Oh my gosh. Okay, so you're a tech investigator. What kind of, of work do you do regularly? Um, I mean, I worked in computer sales for five years and just sold computers, you know? I worked at a CompUSA. I, I really have no tech training, legit training. I mean, I can build you a computer from parts 
just because of my interests, you know, were learning about what I worked around and wanted to be a good salesperson. So I learned how to explain what parts do to customers. And I would sell them computers instead of, you know, parts because it was cheaper usually than rebuilding an old computer. But I just picked up things along the years. Maybe it's part of my generation growing up around it that I know what I know, but sure, I'm no special, like, I don't have any, like, HTML code knowledge or source code knowledge or anything like that. Well, you solved a problem. Maybe that's, it's a little uh, common sense. You sure? Not well, much. You solved a problem that everybody watching this trial was well aware of. I mean, you were really the lifesaver here, or the case saver, should I say? And who knows? Maybe some of these attorneys will hire you in the future to troubleshoot for their cases. I, I think they should. They ought to bring you in the courtroom, and then uh, you can troubleshoot issues. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, well, listen, Fletch, uh, it was really nice of you to wake up early this morning uh, to join us and explain that to us. Uh, it's really comical, as you said, how simple that was. Yeah, well, the interesting stuff was what was found inside. Like, I, uh, I sent off an email this morning of some other things that I found that maybe that'll get introduced into evidence. Ooh, what else did you find? You know, if you know how to look around on a website. Um, well, there are text messages or comments, I should say. Well, first off, I guess I should explain that when I first logged in, it was the picture of the Deer Valley employee that skied down the hill with Terry Sanders in the toboggan. Her name's Whitney, and there was a like a comment about it, and that was posted to an event page that was created for an event for the skiers group that is one of the groups on Meetup.com. Um, that group had ten guests that were all going together. Terry is one of them. Witness Craig. Ramon was one of them, and you know, there was a bunch of comments. But that skiing group had other events, so I was looking through their past events and future events. And of course, Craig and Terry actually have talked before and been to other events together. So I don't know, over two months, I would think they actually were friends. And actually, if you look to the future, there are comments from Terry about he is still going on uh, ski runs on Sundays and Wednesdays with his Alta group in October of uh, 2016. And that's not too long after this accident. So that's pretty interesting to me. That is. I sure hope that Gwyneth Paltrow's attorneys are as diligent as you are, Fletch, uh, because they may be very interested in that information you just shared with us. Uh, Fletch, I know we have to say goodbye to you, but thank you so much for your time uh, this morning. Uh, if you keep on covering things, I know we'll be talking to you again. Take good care. Every good wish.